Rescuers don't expect to find anyone else alive, and you can see why. They know people trapped beneath this heavy rubble stood little chance as the fire took hold. This is how rapidly and ruthlessly life can change for Ukrainians in this needless war. Innocent shoppers far from the front line, killed, wounded, missing. This has become a grim recovery operation now. Rescuers have told me they found human remains, which makes it very hard for them to know how many people have died at this stage. Uh, but dozens remain missing, and a local police station is collecting DNA from their loved ones. Outside one hospital, we meet a mother desperately looking for her daughter. Tetiana was 22 years old and worked in a mobile phone store at the shopping centre. Inside are 25 patients from Monday's attack. Father of two, Ihor, was shopping for computer accessories and saw the missiles hit. In this ward of four men, it became clear the invisible injuries were taking a greater toll. Ну, у меня просто моральный шок. Так, физически я это переживу. А вот то, что <coughs> вина это глазами, это... We found no evidence to support Russia's claim the shopping center caught fire from a strike on a nearby military target. So it might be that you guys do the frenzies. War crimes investigators at the scene told us it was hard to see any justifiable military logic to an action such as this. And the prosecutor general is investigating why the shopping center wasn't evacuated when the air raid siren sounded. Don't be relaxed when you are in war. And people should be, uh, should understand it, that we should wait from our enemies such missiles every minute and be ready. There's a growing sense of anxiety among civilians here that nowhere in Ukraine is safe. Sally Lockwood, Sky News, Kremenchuk.